Well, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have something new for you. No, it is not this robot vacuum sitting in my hands, although you might think it is. This is the Dreamy Tech D9, which I am currently testing in my house. And while it is a vacuum, it is also a mop. Here on the bottom, we have a mopping cloth attached to this robot vacuum. It simply detaches with the click of a few buttons. And what you're left with is this mopping pad here that is pretty small and it is just a simple cloth. Now, if you have a 1500 or 2000 or even a 3000 square foot house, imagine taking this mopping cloth here and attaching it to a mop, wetting it, and then trying to use this to clean your entire house. You see, this is not what this is designed to do. These are designed to be maintenance items in between mopping your home. And so if you're like me, where most of your house is hard floors and not carpeted, then you'll want something a little bit more than this to do some deep cleaning. Uh, so that leaves me with my other option, which is this, the dirty old mop. Well, now I have something here to replace this. So you're going to take a look at this video today. And here I have with me the all new Dreamy Tech Dreamy H11 Max, that's a lot, wet dry vacuum. And see, this is what is going to be taking the place of that nasty mop and mopping my house. And the unique feature about this is it is cordless. And so you do not have to carry cords around with you, which is a great option. It has a clean water tank and a dirty water tank. It does clean itself while it is mopping. That is a nice feature that many robot vacuums do not have today. And on top of that, when you put it back on the charging station, it does clean itself even more. So this is a hopefully a hassle-free, hands-off, uh, wet-dry vacuum mop that we were putting through tests in my house. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing now and take a closer look at this guy. Oh, and before I forget, links in the description below for this H11 Max and the regular H11 with a special early discount code. Check those links out in the description below. All right, getting into the unboxing. I'm actually very excited to get one of these. This is the first time I've reviewed a wet, dry uh, mop like this. Okay, included it looks like we have a nice quick start guide here. Uh, fill the water tank. Shows you how to fill the water tank up. Uh, how to start cleaning. Once uh, click self-cleaning. Very excited about the self-cleaning feature. Uh, and the installation charging. We'll get into that installation and the charging here in just a few minutes. Also comes with a, a user manual. Uh, looks like it is an all black and white, but it is a complete Pretty thorough user manual here. And here we have what looks like an attachment cup, maybe for the base. We'll see. Looks like a cleaning brush is included. And here is a extra roller. They do provide you with two, so it's nice to have an extra one in the box. And here is the charger. And here we have a filter of sorts. So there's a mesh screen on the back of it. Uh, I like how Dreamy does their mesh screens over their filters. I really do. All right, and here we have the handle. And we'll, uh, we'll be putting this together in a few minutes. Looks like it just clicks in place. A couple of buttons here on the front of the handle. And then the cleaning button there on the top. That's the button you're going to push to clean it uh, when it's back on the base station. Very nice feature. Okay, now that I've unboxed the H11 Max, I decided to go ahead and uh, take it out from my table view there because uh, there just wasn't enough room to really show this. So I haven't put it together. We'll put it together here in just a few minutes. Uh, but this is a nice premium looking device. I can go ahead and say that there is a bit of weight to it. Uh, we do have two water tanks here. Let me show you the top one right here. This is your clean water tank, pops right out. There is your fill right there in the top. See it opens up just like that. And here is your dirty water tank. It does come with a filter, so that was a spare filter that we showed you earlier. Uh, so again, this is your filter. It just pops right in the top here. Looking at the bottom of the unit here, we have a couple of rubberized wheels. I'll let you take a look at that here. A couple of rubberized wheels here on the back, two wheels here on the bottom, and again it comes with a brush roller installed already in it. Uh, so it does come with two of the brush rollers here. 
That has a nice uh, thickness to the uh, cloth pa uh, pad here. Here is the base station that it will be sitting on, and this is the base station that helps clean the H11 Max and also charge it. Here are your charging contacts here in the very back. The plug does plug in here on the back of the unit. It does not look like it does. Does not look like it comes with any cord management though. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this together real quick. Now we'll take the handle here. It looks like it just simply snaps right into the base. Right here, just like that. Now for the stand, we have here. This also is the stand that it places on for self-cleaning and for charging. And you just center it up and put the H11 Max on the stand, just like that. It does come with a side attachment cup. That was one of the first things we took out of the box here. That just slides in the side here. And you may be wondering what it's for. It's to hold your cleaning brush, which is great, and your extra roller. I really appreciate that. A lot of these robot vacuums and other mops and vacuums, they come with extra attachments and I never know where to keep them. It's great to always keep them with the vacuum itself, so I appreciate the fact that this does have a side attachment. And again, the charging plug here just plugs into the back. And the only thing we're left with to figure out where to put is the extra filter that comes with it. So I'm going to be putting this through various tests in my house in the upcoming videos. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate it if you like this kind of content. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down, down below. Again, if you want links to buy this, they are down below. Uh, and a special 15% off discount code for this H11 Max. Or if you don't want, you can go ahead and pick up the regular H11 with the discount code down below. And so we'll be putting this through many tests in my house, so stay tuned for future videos. I appreciate you viewing this. Take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.